Hello everyone, my name is Emma and welcome to this week's first look review on The Dolls Reborn. Uh, so, it... I'll just... <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, the summary on Steam is, In the darkness they sing, in the darkness they sway, the toys that had been swept away want to play, and you are now the toy. So it doesn't tell you shit about the actual game. Uh, there is, it, so it came out on the 26th of May this year. It was uh, developed. Its developers are Hush Interactive, which I I don't know what these Facebook and Twitter links go to. Um, and their publisher is Forever Entertainment SA, I think it was. Which yeah. Uh, so it's got mixed 60%. Uh, of 58 reviews are positive, the ones that I read were negative. <laughs> uh, it's got 9 achievements, trading cards, it's $5, but it's 49 cents till the 18th of October, so get it now if you like this video. Uh, and the developers have released a new game called Shot Eye, so that's newer than this, which I don't know if I'll play. Okay, so. As well, I was I did actually read the, the reviews on Steam uh, just to see how long the game was because uh, I didn't I was tossing up two different games to play. Uh, so this is apparently like a Five Nights at Freddy's clone. Uh, so and apparently it's bad, <laughs> but I guess I'll be the um, judge of that new game. Was to move flashlight F, um, E, activate doors, pick up, escape is pause. Okay. Stay safe. Use your flashlight to detect anything that's hidden. Uh, protect yourself by closing doors to avoid intruders. View the cameras to keep an eye out for anything. Uh, doors can drain power, which will leave you defenseless against anything. You must plan ahead and think smart to make it through. Each shift has a set time, which you must complete in order to survive. With each passing night, the game becomes harder and faster, with new encounters and challenges. Yeah, that sounds exactly like Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. Hush Interactive. Presents. No, and forever entertainment. Presents the doors, dolls <laughs> reborn, <laughs> created by Mark Han, Ash Sunderland. The Daily Read, uh, heart and soul toys, uh, more jobs for local town, family business closed for 50 years. Will it last? What? Family business closed for 50 years, will it last? What the fuck? Um, help wanted night guard, $30 an hour. That's pretty good, actually. I think. I mean, that's my wage. No, it isn't. Wait, what the hell? No, it isn't. <laughs> my wage is $40 an hour. Or oh, 35 to $40 an hour. Training shift, night one training shift, three hours, 12 a.m. Oh, Jesus, this is five nights of freeze. Hey, newbie, just rang to say good luck on your first day. Should be easy work, it's just the training shift, which is three hours on your first day. So, as you can see, the factory is small, and of course, being a family owned business, the workload isn't too bad. Just don't fall asleep on me. <laughs> At this stage, the power is a little iffy due to the fact that we haven't upgraded our power grid to handle the new machines, but all in good time, all in good time. So be smart when turning on all the lights and activating the cameras, eh? The place is a mess at the moment, but we should have it all under control by the end of the week. If the fumes coming in from the machines get to you, feel free to shut the doors. But keep in mind, it may drain the power. Anyway, I won't keep you from your work. Talk to you in the morning. He didn't tell me shit. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a monkey that's upside down. This is... I feel like this is really badly done, actually. Uh, just straight off the bat. 
I can barely see anything. Uh, it's like one of those old movies, uh, which is like a cool thing, like filter on the HUD, but, I mean, yeah. I don't even want to go out because the flashlight's crap. <laughs> Is there another door? I mean... Oh, what? I feel like your jump scare's about to come. I have no idea, like... Okay, yeah. This is... Oh, and the power is going down rapidly. I kind of want to get a jump scare out of this game at least, but... Yeah, I'm gonna close that door. Yeah. The power's gone down really fast, so... Yeah, I think, I feel like this is gonna be a very short video. Oh! Oh look, it's a baby! Oh, it's a baby. Hello, baby. Zone 1. Where the hell is Zone 1? There isn't even... Is there a map here? Oh, the baby's gone. So, I feel like all the noises that I'm hearing um, are just... Yeah, I'm just going to keep the doors closed. Um, just so I can check this game out. Oh! That was... I have a lot to say about this game. Five hours. First shift. Is there a second shift as well? Hello. Sorry I didn't get a hold of you this morning. Things have been really busy today. I guess some of the toys got broken overnight. I only say this because they seem to have been moved. If you know anything about this, give us a call. But besides that, all seems to be in good shape. I knew I had a good feeling about you. So, yeah, I'll check in later and make sure it's all okay. Thank you. So, I feel like these noises that I'm hearing are just the cameras showing, like, it's like a jump scare on the, cam the cameras. See, it just, the baby just went from that one to that one. He jumped from zone... No, camera 4 to camera 2. That's pretty impressive for a baby. Is that a baby as well? I can't, I can't tell, I think it is. I think it's just chillaxing, just... Yeah. So it doesn't tell you what anything is, really. Um... I think... I think that, no, that's not the door, because I've closed the door, so I can't... Okay, so I think that's... That might be that door. I don't... I don't know, though. Uh... That just sounds... Weird. Uh, is the door on this side? Is there another door? I, th I think that door... Is, um... Okay, then. The power's gonna run out. Uh, let's see what happens. The power goes out. Oh, you've just got... Wait, really? Is this happening right now? <laughs> Quick. This is going to be an easy video to edit, I can say that for one, uh, straight off. Well, what do I say about this game first? It was cool that you could move around, uh... Tilt the camera back down so you guys can see me better. It was cool that you can move the camera around... 
yeah, the, no, you could, it, it was cool that you could move the person around to the different cameras and that kind of thing. But that wasn't very good. That wasn't very well done. Like the doors and I don't get, how the hell does the baby get in? If the doors were closed, is there another way in or something? I don't know. But like that, that confused me. Plus, I don't, it, I don't think it lagged. But it might have when the jump scare happened, but that shouldn't have, it wasn't that big of a jump scare or whatever. Because uh, you, you, you guys saw it, the, the sound happened and I was like, what, what's going on? And then the baby pops up, I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, uh, <laughs> it is only 49 cents. Um, I only did, yeah, buy it for 49 cents, so I guess that's an okay thing. It doesn't look very good. Um, yeah, it's just, so it is a Five Nights at Freddy's plan, it's just you can move, you can just walk around. I think you can walk out around throughout the thing, like the, the factory or whatever, but that's gonna kill you. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, plus it, it didn't, so, so what Five Nights at Freddy's is good for with the cameras is that you could, like, you flip the machine up, and you would see the whole map of the place, and you just click on each of the buttons to the cameras. This just had pictures. They just, no, it just had TVs of the cameras, uh, footage, and it didn't really... Yeah, it, like... You, you didn't know what the hell was going on. You didn't... Like, I had to figure out, I had to sit there and look at each of the cameras just to figure out which door was the one that, um, was in, like, for, for my room. Uh, and the person for the thing or the, the, the uh, uh, phone was crap as well. There was, like, it, it, into the introductory night was shit. <laughs> it wasn't, like... Yeah, it didn't really tell you that much at all, and it didn't really tell you... Yeah, it's just, it's missing things that would, that makes this type of game good. That's why Five Nights at Freddy's is good. But yeah, so that's all I'm, I'm gonna stop rambling on, just because, yeah. Uh, there is another thing, actually, I should say. The filter thing on the front, you didn't need that. That was bad, I could barely see anything. Uh, so yeah, uh, not the best game in the world, by far, um, but if you guys want to try it out for yourself, because it could be scary if a jump scare works properly, uh, then I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, on that page there is the other game, Shut Eye which I don't know what that, I think that's another type of game like this, not sure, but yeah, so thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, like my page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye!